Hello, friends. Welcome <laughs> back. That for well, I should say welcome back one last time. Yeah. This is our last case together. We're on case seventy-five. You say oh. Oh. Yeah. It's sad, but it's sweet, mm. and I knew it complete. No, no songs. It's probably copyrighted on YouTube. Bad mojo. But have you enjoyed the ride? I've enjoyed the ride. Have you enjoyed the ride? Um, sorry, we keep uh, steering you wrong. Yeah. Hopefully, you're doing better at home. I wonder if we're up. Are we up or down? I think we might have just broke even. Maybe. We'll Maybe see we'll see this if one. this final case <laughs> is the ultimate case. Mm. Is the the win, loss, or draw? Maybe they've gone easy on us. It's case seventy five. Presumably, we've played the entire game for years. To get to case 75 maybe they've given us an easy one what do you reckon at home before i start reading the case probably in a voice it's gonna be easy it's gonna be hard get your notepad ready get your files and your accoutrements get your apple juice we are on case number 75 of sherlock holmes the mystery of the three missing men from the journal of dr watson like the three amigos. No, <laughs> there could be three amigos if you so desire. It's a headache and no mistake, said Inspector Merivale. With this last disappearance, the pressure's on us all to come up with some answers. I'd be obliged if you could give the problem your attention, Mr. Holmes. Holmes knocked his pipe out, scattering ash on the hearth, just like so. Your facts, then, are these. Holmes marked them down with his fingers. One, five days ago, Mr. Humphrey Dark, a director of the Great Western Railway, was reported missing after failing to keep an appointment in the city. Two, Two days ago, Sir Sherwood Friends, Secretary of State at the Home Office, failed to arrive at work. Three! Ah, ah, ah. Yesterday, Mr. George Burton, the merchant banker, left his office as usual, only apparently to vanish into thin air. Four! Scotland Yard can find no connection between these three men, whether business, social, sporting, or otherwise. Five. The commissioner is determined to forestall feelings amongst men of affairs that the police are incapable of discharging their duties to the community. That was a weird sentence. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you number five again Thank you. with my reading eyes. The commissioner is determined to forestall feelings amongst men of affairs that the police are incapable of discharging their duties to the community. Read that right? Still yep. a weird sentence. Yep. In plain English, the commissioner doesn't want people to panic that they can't figure out what's happening to the yep. men. Afraid, no doubt, that some of these so-called socialists are putting their ideas into oh. practical effect, Ooh. I offered. <laughs> that took a turn. That escalated yeah. right quick. <laughs> Righto. We're worried about the social... Six! He's gone. He's gone to his other hand now. No physical trace or report of any of these three men has subsequently emerged. Finished Holmes. That's correct, Mr. Abes, confirmed Mary Vale. Very well, Mary Vale. I will see what I can do. If you would care to drop by in a couple of days, I will certainly offer you whatever thoughts I may have on A. What the link is, if any, between these three men. A. Find the link between the three men. Mm -hmm. B. The reason for their disappearance. Why they vanish. Why? C. The cause of their disappearance. Isn't that the same thing as the no, reason? No, raison d'etre. Uh. They might be going to somewhere particular, but how? 
C, the cause. And D, the person or persons responsible. Oh. Much obliged, Mr. Ames, said Mary Vale gratefully. If my notes at the yard would be of any use, I would be glad to turn them over to you. An excellent suggestion, replied Holmes. Mm. Come on, Watson. Yes, I know, I muttered to myself and echoed his final words as I followed him through the door. The game's afoot. That time Watson said it. Ah, ah. Hey. Oh, hey. Ah, changing things Watson. up. Stay in your lane, kid. Stay in your lane. So, All obviously, right. they've left us with, I will give you my notes at Scotland Yard. So, Scotland Yard, yes, obviously. So, that should definitely be somewhere to stop. What else you got for me, note taker? Um, honestly, just the fact that George Burton was a banker, so... We do. Have, I thought. Yeah. See, I was reading and busy in uh, disappearing into my role. Yeah. I I thought all three of them would have had some form of occupation that would have led us to the map. Right, but Humphrey Dark is a rail railway director. Railway director that failed to show up for an appointment in a city. Yeah. So like, there's no railway. The most we can maybe associate him with is the carriage depot, mm, but that's carriage carriages. Depot the docks. Maybe the railway goes to the docks. Maybe. Maybe. It's still so, a stretch. Yeah. And then Sir Sherwood Friends, I think it just said he was a businessman or... Sherwood Friends, Secretary of State at the Home Office. Mm. Secretary of State. So he'll be somewhere posh. Right. Um, but there's no, perhaps. like, yeah. actual, like, government building here. No. Um, so I would say the two clear places to start, Scotland Yard and the bank. Scotland Yard and the bank. Do you agree? We shall start, I think, with Scotland Yard. Yes. Let's do it. Games afoot. Okay. Scotland Yard, Scotland Yard, Scotland Yard. Oh, you do that and I do this, don't I? Or do I do both? I don't know. It's been a while, haven't it? Uh, 922. 922. Buckle my shoe. We're going on through to 922. 922. I see... That all three men are the same age. What may we infer? Continued at the hotel. Oh, really? Oh, we've started Ooh. with a clue. With a double clue. Hang on, I've got to refresh my memory. Um, how many are we aiming for here? I think it's one to five clues, master detective. Six to eight, sleuth. Nine to eleven, detective. And after that, we just turn into... Goofs. Yeah. So, one clue down. We go straight to the hotel, you reckon? Finish this one? Sure, but it's, is it going to lead us on a wild goose chase and we're not going to get to the bank? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Let's go to the hotel. Let's go to the hotel. All right. Hotel is at 893. Looky, looky, Lee. 893. Let's have a look-see. have a look-see. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> I can say things that rhyme with three, me, hey. I'll I'll move that too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean Don't. he just does. I'll everything. just do everything. What do I say? Eight nine three. Are you sure? Sure. Sh yes. Eight nine three. That they were at college or university together. They're the same age. We may infer because they are businessmen and social elites. They may have been at college or university together. Which reminds me, was there not a report quite recently in the papers? Mm. Continues at news agents. Does it now? Uh, they are leading us on a chase, aren't they? A merry old chase. A merry, merry old chase we have here. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. So, um, do we follow them on this chase? Same Or age. do we university together. go... Well, let's just go to the papers because, you know, where else would they report on things like the railway and the home office? That's true. Right? Yeah. So, news agents. News agents. All right. Newsies. 904. This time he's sure. We're going to score at 904. <sighs> Regarding... A reunion of former officers 
to celebrate at the founding of the Oxford, to celebrate the founding of the Oxford Union, continued at museum. <laughs> this is just going to be a story that starts at Scotland Yard and ends somewhere else. Now, the question is, that's three clues now. Founding of what, sorry? Uh, Oxford Union. What Oxford Union is, is that a rugby club? At the museum. At the museum. Um, the rugby club. Is it a socialist union? Is it a labour union? Well, they had to talk about socialists. Oh, my gosh. So the three of them obviously know each <clears throat> other. They're part of the Oxford Union. Um, that's A, I think. What link is between the The link the three between men? them, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, you know, they're a part of the same union. They knew each other from uni days. Um, and, I mean, one is a banker, the other one's in the railway, the other one's in the home office. Like, hello, trying to take over? Who tries to take over the world from a rugby club, though? I don't. I don't think it's rugby. Think I think it's, it's an actual like workers' union. This is how Ameri- <laughs> it's how American you are. You think union, and I think university union must be rugby. Anyway, could be wrong. Probably wrong. Right. So, Shall do we, we go to the museum or do we go to the bank? <sighs> let's talk, let's go to the museum. Let's see what this reunion was about. All right, you're in charge. Am I? Fifty large. You're in charge. Museum. 1,012. Oh. Harder to rhyme. 12. You'd have to be an elf. I was about to say something to like that. To rhyme 12. Can you, can you rhyme something? 12 you, elves. 12. Elf. Shelve. Shelve the idea of going to the bank. We're going to 12. Right? Um... <clears throat> Yes, here's the article. And the list of those attending includes Dark, Friend, and Burton. That's the link. It, oh, the list it. of attendees. It's not the union itself. It's people that are supposed to be there. Now, why would we not want these people to show up at a union gathering? An Oxford Union gathering. Mm, or maybe they did gather. Yeah, you're thinking they're doing it and some under their own steam. What if someone is trying to keep them from the gathering? Mm. Oh, also it says continue at the tobacconist. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Should we just go to the bank? I think, Effort? yeah. Go to the bank. We go to the bank, but Sherlock. I'll write that down, tobacconist. Yeah, and right. obviously, wait, wait, wait. So we know what the link is. Yeah. Their list of attendees. That's oh. a list of attendees. So who else is on this attendance list that um, we need to look out for is the question. And I will continue that answer with part of Oxford Union. Right. They're on the guest list for the Oxford Union thingamajig. All right. Okay. Should we go to the bank? Bank. Let's be rebels. 1,004. We've been there before. Go to the bank. 1,004. Say no more, say no more. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Okay. No clue? No, there's a clue. Now you mention it, I do remember Mr. Burton leaving in a brougham. Wait, sorry, what? In a brougham, like a, a carriage thing. Brougham, brogham, if you prefer. Said the commissioner. Thank you, said Holmes. Now, can we find Maryvale? Continued in Locksmith. Uh, I... We have skipped. Yeah, we skipped a bit. Um, so, someone, there is another Brungham involved. Someone's picking them up. So carriage Someone's works. picking them up and taking them to not where they should be. Right. Carriage works. Carriage works. Or carriage deep. Carriage deep. Sorry. Stop we keep the microphone. doing that. You. Check your ears. Oh, we're going. Going. Oh. Are we? No time to chit chat, ladies and gentlemen. We are blasted through this one. Well, we're no longer master detectives, so. Oh, we're no longer master detectives. We must be sleuths. Uh oh. 
We'll see. <laughs> yeah, this is why we usually debate whether we want to be master detectives or not. There's no way that we are master detectives on this one. Are you master detective? Have you figured it out? You go somewhere else, did ya? Carriage Depot. 974. His mother was a saint. <laughs> 974. What were you going to say? Rude. 974. And what significance do you see in that, A. Eh, Watson? Damn it. Well, a Brongham, hang on, hang on, hang on, is enclosed. Whilst an ordinary hansom, another form of cab, and also me, <laughs> is open. Open to the air, finishes Holmes. Continued at the bank. Oh, so. So from the so bank. from the bank, it says that he was picked up in a Bronx. So someone's picking these people up, following them around, picking them up and escarpering with them. I don't think they're doing this under their own steam, my love. No, they're probably, yeah. Being abducted. Being so is the cause that they're being abducted? Abducted by a Brunham. Maybe. Maybe it's that Stephen um, King novel. You know, the one with the truck that's alive? Yeah. To the Brongans alive. Hmm. Okay. No? Yeah. No? Too far. Um, so I think we need to go back then and actually follow this trail to the tobacconist. Or the locksmith. Or the locksmith. Um, the tobacconist was mentioned first. Yeah. Well, yeah, but and we did sort of close off the idea that they were linked by the list. So theoretically... The tobacconist is the start of the next clue. Yeah. But if we assume that the start of the clue is the least efficient part of the clue. Oh, well then. Then perhaps we skip. Locksmith. Locksmith? Locksmith. Um, let's go there. All right, let's go locksmith. Let's have a look. Let's see if my logic has anything that sticks. Speaking of sticks. We're 986. We'll pick up sticks. Pick up sticks. 986. 986 for my New Zealand friends. 986. Um, I am in the 600s. I'm nowhere near 986, and that's where mistakes happen. 986. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's happened? You've won a new car. No. Uh, we have found the bodies of all three men in that yeah. warehouse there. Doctor says they all died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh. Yes, cried Holmes and I together. Continued at the theatre. So they all did. Again, that escalated so fast. Brougham is still... It's a closed, enclosed car, so obviously they died there. Yeah, but it's still... It's still horse-drawn, isn't it? A Brougham? Probably not, if it's carbon monoxide. Maybe at this point in time in history. No, it should be horse-drawn. Um... Found the bodies in the warehouse, so they've been taken. It is an enclosed space, so the problem is the place to kill them. But how do you put carbon monoxide so... into something without an engine? I suppose. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if there was horse drawn, there'd be no engine on it. it I don't think it's horse drawn if there's carbon monoxide. I think... Maybe at this point in history, you think I there's don't, a car. You think I don't know cars? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. she's not wrong. Yeah. She's okay, not wrong. Okay, so, so wait, before we get there, so would that be considered the reason for disappearance or the cause? So the... The reason they disappeared is the... We don't know yet. Or is it the Yeah, cause? no, we need to know why someone was abducting or killing them, I think, for the reason. And we need to know the person responsible. So the cause... Is they're all dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a technical question. But it could trip up anyone. How many clues have we had, my love? My love, my love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, um, one more left to be sleuths. Yep. It's a um, lot to get in and, and uh, So, I mean, it's a go to the theatre. It's a go to the theatre. Now, 
that might discuss carbon monoxide a little bit further, but we also might get, just the throwing it out clear. there, chemist might have carbon monoxide, something, something to do with something. Oh, what do you maybe. think? Should we follow to the theatre? Is this a chronological sort of order clue? Or did the locales have anything to do with what sort of information we're getting? It's, it's a tough one. Mm. You can go to the chemist, it's fine. I think if we follow the set path that we have been given, the breadcrumbs, if you will, that we've been given, there is no way we are finishing this as sleuths or reasonable detectives. It's yeah. going to take us right through to clue 14 before it gives us everything. All right, let's go to the chemist. Skip around. When in doubt, skip around. That doesn't rhyme. Perhaps you can send me a suggestion for uh, finishing that sentence. When in doubt, just read the next damn clue. Um, chemist, 937. 937. 937. Get your ticket to heaven. Nine Hopefully three seven. They did. Mm, yeah, three tickets. <laughs> three tickets to heaven. Over nine three seven. No, he is on holiday at the moment. Said the assistant. He bought an old Brougham recently. Oh. Said he was going to restore it. Daft, I call it. Ah, continue at the carriage depot. Damn it. So, in other words. We are on the wrong side yeah. of the person clue that we need. Yeah, so we got to go back to the tobacconist. Someone would have led us to the camp. Not necessarily, it might be at the theatre. No, 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 because we were at the locksmith yeah. and the next clue was the tobacconist. And we did. Oh, no, that was before then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a while back. Um, right. So somewhere here is who is restoring that problem. What relation he has to the missing yeah. man. That's what the we're missing. The person responsible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do we backtrack to somewhere that we could, should have been taken or do we take another stab in the dark and arrive at a random place like the park or the pawn shop and see if that leads a new trail for us? What do you think, my love? I've definitely... Uh, You've... Railroaded the last two suggestions. You really so, have. So yeah. I don't remember what my suggestions are now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we're on. Uh, we're on nine clues. I think we're not stopping there. No. I don't we think can't. we can stop there. We don't have the reason or not. The and give these three unfortunates their due investigation. So. So. I will go wherever you take me. Well, none no. of my suggestions would make sense anymore. Well, then use a pendulum. Theatre. Theatre. She's gone with the theatre. Not what I would have chosen, but... Nine, four, three. Is it she? Madam Theatre. We're going to see. Nine, four, three. Killer clue. Nine, four, three. I'm sorry, I'm so wrong about everything, Killer aren't I? Killer clue. <laughs> I think... What's it been? Six cases? Six cases has been tried. Yeah? <laughs> oh, we've been we've been on the streets for so long, we've seen some stuff. <laughs> it wears a man down. Alright, killer clue, 943. Happily it falls at night, but remains outstanding. Happily Are it falls right at night, but remains outstanding. Happily it falls at night. Happily. It remains outstanding. Yeah. What is outstanding? Outstanding and falls at night. There is no suggestion. The moon? Mm, you think the moon would rise at night, the sun. Um, the dark. The dark falls at night. But remains outstanding. What are the names of all the men? The men are Humphrey Dark. Humphrey Dark. So Sherwood, Sherwood Friends and Burton. George Burton. So Burton, Merchant Banker, Burton, Friends, Dark. 
So did Humphrey Dark? And Humphrey Dark, the one repairing the thing, maybe. But did he? He wanted to kill these men. But then the for three, their association, all three men were found. Right. Well, including it, Duck. It it backfired. Maybe. Yeah. He okay. wanted to kill the other two men, but in the end. Maybe he wanted he to died. take him for a joyride in his new car, if it is a car. And... It was an accident. It was an accident. Oh, God, I don't know. Happily, it falls at night, but remains outstanding. That's got to be a riddle that someone's watching and going, Obviously! Might be dark. I want to say it's dark. Mm. Okay. Well, that leads us no particular direction. So once again, what do you think, my love? Um, where do you want to go? I think the killer clue is what's going to get us here. And I think, where do you take a car for a test drive? Maybe the park. Or is it a carriage? I don't know. I don't have Google on me right now. I'm sure a Brongham's a carriage. But often wrong. So, let's go to the park. Sure. Let's go to the park. Someone's doing wheelies in the park and whatever this is. Um, Brongham. No, park. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. 1,042. Love you. Two. Really do. <laughs> 1,042 at the park. Okay. The union records revealed that the three men had been president, secretary, and treasurer in the same year. <sighs> that it's a scheme, perhaps. That might be our reason. The reason is whatever they did as mm -hmm. treasurer and think continued at docks. Honestly. Uh, we <laughs> have got solved yet? Yeah, we still have some questions. So let's go to the docks. Let's go to the docks. All right. It's our last one to be a detective, isn't it? Yep. Docks, docks, docks. 10.23, Philly Day. Docks, we are coming. We are coming to see. 10.23 Burton, friend, Duck. Potts, the senior porter at the Union, repeated the names thoughtfully. It's a long time now, but yes, there were rumours and accusations. Continued at the pawnbrokers. Oh, you suggested to go there. Oops. I did, but we didn't. So... So rumours just circulated. Rumours circulated about the three whilst they were in charge of the union, I suspect. Oh, they stole money. They stole money. They embezzled money. One... And Dark wanted to either quiet them or steal their share. And then he ended up killing himself by accident. <sighs> uh, I think we have to go to the pawnbroker. We have to go to the pawnbroker. I thought you were going to say, I think we have to solve it. I was like, what? Have you got any of the answers? No. None. None. Um, I think we'll be able to solve it after the pawnbroker. Let's go back over the clues. Let's go back over the clues. Because we're still detectives and we are going to be... God, what are we going to be? Gumshoes. Gumshoes. Gum shoes. There's only three left. Gumshoe. Is there three left or two left? There's three left. Okay. Gumshoe. Then detective. Terrible detective. Scotland Yard inspector. Then Watson. Oh, this is going to take every damn place on the map. Come on, it's our last one. Why don't we visit every damn place on the map? Let's do it. All right. Um, pawn brokers. Pawn broker. Pawn broker. No, we're pawn broker art. Gum shoe. Want to gum shoe? That breaks my heart. I don't know about you. <laughs> 952. 952. I hope you're not bored. How about you? I am feeling blue, to be <laughs> honest, because we are gumshoe, headed to nine, five, two. 
Oh, the disappointment. It's palpable. I can taste it. Nine five two. They decided not to go easy on us on the last one. Nope. Nine five two. One young fellow accused them of rigging the election, but in that year they were officials. One young fellow. One young fellow. He might circle back later. Ah. One young fellow accused them of rigging the election ballot in the year they were officials. Nobody took him seriously. He was only a chemistry student. My half suppressed love was rewarded by an icy stare from Holmes. Chemist. We went to the chemist and he weren't there. He was fixing up his Brongham no. on holidays. Oh, the chemist. Yeah. No, he's, he's on holiday. holiday. He buys well, an old, old Brongham. Brongham. Yeah, so, so it's the, chem the chemist. It's the, it's it's the, the person. guy. No. Yeah, we don't know who he is, but it's the chemist. So we have to go to... <clears throat> what did I just say? Well... No, the reason for the continue to the ball's head. No, but I, we don't have to because the reason for the disappearance is the election was rigged. Yeah, but we still need this guy's name. Mm. We don't like this is the the lead up to finding out who this bastard is. <sighs> Can't just say that the guy is the well. He might not be the chemist. Maybe the chemist. Well, yeah, it would be the chemist because he's a chemistry student and we went to the chemist. I'm like, I, I don't think we can get away with chemistry. Do you think we can get away with chemistry? I think we can, but let's can go to the boar's chemistry. head. What are we at the boar's head? <laughs> Scotland Yard Inspectors. Uh, Scotland Yard Inspectors. It's terrible. We might get all We might get to all of them and they'll, we'll still get it wrong. Well, Let's go. We let's go. Chemist, come on. Boar's head. Boar's head, sorry. Boar's head. 10.35... No one's alive. Ooh. They're all dead. And it means that it was a murder, not an accident. It's mm. the fourth person who wasn't found in the warehouse. True. Okay. 10.35. His name? Mary something. I can't really recall. <laughs> the inspector. Continued... At chemist, Merryvale was grateful. He was the inspector. Hang on, hang on. Are we? No, he's an inspector. Why would he be on holiday from the chemist? Mary, I mean Merryvale. It could be Merryvale. Oh my God! Could you imagine if it was freaking Merryvale the whole time? Um, he couldn't double as wait, a scholar. Wait, wait, wait. So what was the end of the clue? His name. Mary something, I can't really recall, continued at chemist. And the chemist clue was saying that he, now he's on holiday. Right. So, no, he's on holiday, bought an old Brongham. Um, Maybe the inspector's on holiday. Hmm. It's a headache. It's... The veil of night. Happily, it falls at night, but remains outstanding. Is it dark or is it a veil? Mm. You know what? Watson's all right in my books. Uh, I don't... The tobacconist was like an earlier clue. From it like was an before. earlier clue. I think we're going to fail even with every clue on the board. But hey, it's the last case. Okay. Um, I'm really, yeah. We have, we've been to every place. We do not have a name besides Mary. And the only Mary is Maryvale. It's the copper. It, 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 I just can't bring myself to believe an upstanding member of Scotland Yard would do this to us on our last case. Tobacconist? Mm-hmm. Ten four seven ten forty seven. Ah, oh, it's over. Doesn't feel too bad being Watson. Only partly, Watson. We still need to find what sets these three men apart from all those other attending. I fear that a visit to Oxford is necessary. Continue to park. Okay, that was unnecessary as a clue, yep. which means we have everything we are supposed to have to solve this case. So, okay. Are you kidding me?
They, there was accusations of them rigging the election to the yeah. positions in the thing. Okay. President, secretary, treasurer. Um, the only person that cared about it was a young chemist student who yeah. nobody believed, nobody cared about. Yeah. Mary something. Right. I think it has it's to, to be, be Mary Vale. Vale. So Mary Vale wanted to be a hobnobber, uh, captain of industry yeah. like his buddies. Um Maybe that's why he became a police officer, because there was injustice in the election. Um, and he became a cop. And then when he saw that they were all yeah. getting together again, he decided to exact his revenge on the men, maybe dressed as a police officer. He picked them up in the Brongham. Mm, yeah. I mean, he was, yeah, dressed as okay. a driver. So let's do the clues. And let's give the most basic answers we can so that we can okay. broad scatter shot. So What's what link? was the link? Um, They're all... Part of the Oxford Union. Oxford Union officials. Yeah. Officials. Yeah. Um, reason for disappearance. The election was rigged. Um, yes. The cause that they didn't arrive was the dead by carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, killed. Yeah. Um, the uh, person responsible, Inspector Maryville. <sighs> Inspector Maryville slash the chemist. Uh, slash the chemist. Slash the driver. <laughs> of the problem. Are you ready for us to get this all wrong? Uh, slash the chemist slash the... You can't do that. He's all of them. He is a master of mystery and disguise. Um, Sherlock Holmes is. Okay. Okay. Link. Reason. Pause. Keeping me in suspense. Did we get it wrong? Let me read the solution. Did we did we just switch to what these mean? <sighs> okay. So there you have it, Mary Vale. A simple case of adducing a theory from the known facts and then collecting further information to corroborate that theory. However, I strongly suspect that if the newspaper article which referred to the celebrations organised by the Oxford Union had not appeared, then the three victims would still be very much alive today. I am sure that when you track Mary Jew down, he will agree that the crimes he has committed were triggered by the painful memories that the report brought back to him. It is difficult for any man not to feel a sense of grievance when confronted with the evidence of another success which has been gained at the cost of one's own failure. I have some sympathy for the man. An irresistible urge to pull my old friend's leg came over me. You speak, I suppose, Holmes, as a fellow chemistry student, I asked. Holmes threw back his head and laughed. Much to Maryvale's astonishment. A hit, Watson, a palpable hit, he cried. An outer only, I am afraid, I replied. It's you who have scored the ball. Ball dust, I say. Link, all three victims participated in a rigged ballot when officers of the Oxford Union. We I'll give that, that to us. Reason, revenge, for said ballot stuffing. Uh, yeah. Cause, gassed by carbon monoxide in the yeah. Bronham garage. Person responsible, Mary Jew. Not the chemist Mary Jew, or some person, just the, just the yeah. name Mary so Jew. So I think there. where we went wrong there is Mary something Mary and Vail. the yeah. it happily falls at night and remains outstanding is due. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say that, but I was just like, why would it remain outstanding? Well, it doesn't come inside. It only goes outside. Uh, the grass. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then we, what we needed to have done was actually put the put killer clue. Mary do with together. Yeah. We needed due. And we needed Mary, and people that got Jew were sitting there going, Not Mary Vale, you idiot! 
Mary Jew! Or how do you know which way around it was? Mm. Like, was it Jew Mary? Mary, no, he did say Mary something, didn't he? Yeah, so Mary, Mary something, yeah. Oh. So that's on us. That's on us. Uh, we arrested the wrong man. We arrested Inspector Mary Vale <laughs> for no reason. Probably doesn't have a Brongham or any idea about chemistry, but yeah. explains why they got gas in a carriage, which may or may not be. Can you use your phone? Can you pull yeah. out a phone and say, no, we can't. Right, because it's off camera right now, but... I'll look it up and let you know, because I'm sure Brongham is a carriage, but even if it's a contained carriage, he would have had the chemistry know-how to poof, smoke bomb them. Yeah, while in so it. Mary Dew is probably the chemist. He's definitely the chemist, because we have the chemist and he's on holidays. But they gave us no further information except for Mary something yeah. and a rhyme, which we should have probably we should have got. Pieced, pieced out. Yeah. But speaking um, of piecing out, yeah, that's, that's us. It. That is case number 75. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I hope you're okay with us being a mere Watson <laughs> for our very last show. Well, it's not a triumphant success, and we don't even get to be Watsons because we arrested the wrong man right. after every clue. So whatever We're the level fired. is. Yeah, whatever We're the level is below Watson, yeah. former detective is probably yeah. the level below yeah. Watson. Former detective. That's us. Maybe we'll come up with a different type of game that you can play along with us next time. <laughs> yeah, um, where we don't look like complete idiots. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> but two idiots. <laughs> and to you guys. Thanks for playing. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs>